the deadliest historical mass shooting ever in U.S. history has just happened. Um, I'm going to send my prayers to out and blessings out to the families that believe in the Messiah and the one true God. Um, because I cannot have anything to do with any other atrocities of, of why that happened, who it happened to, and the whole nine yards. The guy was of Middle Eastern descent. So with that being said, we know Donald Trump is going to try to put fuel onto the fire because of this political race with Hillary Clinton that is going on. So I send my prayers out to those families and blessings. And um, I just want to say, be vigilant within the one true God and the path of righteousness. Because with all the separation, hatred, racism, and segregation that is going on in this nation, it doesn't even feel like the United States anymore. This as the worst mass shooting in the history of the United States of America, with 50 now dead, according to police, 53 more injured doctors there saying many of those critically, so that number could rise. The FBI saying an AR-15 assault rifle was used along with a handgun found on the man, the shooter named Omar Mateen, a United States citizen born in 1986 in New York with an address in Port St. Lucie, we have a statement uh, that we've reached out and talked to the man's father, telling us he's shocked, he's stunned by this, but he did go on to say that he saw his son. Here's what it says. We're saying we're apologizing for the whole incident. We weren't aware of any action he's taking. We're in shock like the whole country. This had nothing to do with religion. That is from the shooter's father when reached by NBC News. But he did go on to say, keep in mind, the shooting took place at a very popular gay nightclub in Orlando. The man's father went on to say that Omar Mateen saw two men kissing a couple of months ago in Miami and became enraged by that. So the own man, the thought that his own father suspects that may have something to do with it. Let's bring in NBC News justice correspondent Pete Williams. Pete, what more can you tell us after that press conference? Uh, Mateen is 29 years old. There's a little confusion here because his father's last name is Siddiqui, and uh, we weren't quite sure about the name, but now we're sure it is Omar Mir. Mateen, uh, the father told us that he uses the last name Mateen, even though his father's uh, um, uh, last name is Siddiqui. Uh, born in New York, but was living near his parents in Florida. Uh, we think that the FBI had looked at him, or there had been some local investigation of him a couple of years ago because of some people he was associating with, but we're told that nothing came of that. Uh, and that he was not on any kind of uh, uh, any kind of current surveillance. Now, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms is tracing to see how he got the weapons that he used, the assault-style rifle, as the police described it, an AR-15-style rifle, which can carry a high-capacity magazine and also a handgun. That's going to take a long time for the forensic work to be done to see whether the people who were shot inside were shot with the handgun or with the, uh, the AR-15-type weapon. He did have a license to carry um, uh, guns. He had a security guard's license and either was or had been at one time working as a security guard. Uh, so he had some, we believe, some familiarity with firearms. We don't know of any criminal past, so he would have been legally entitled to buy those weapons. There was no restriction on that in Florida on acquiring assault weapons. Um, not sure about the Florida gun law and high capacity magazines, but we've so often seen in these mass shootings that the people who carry them out use high capacity magazines because of the simple fact that they can repeatedly fire without having to reload or change magazines. The magazine is the term for the, uh, the device that attaches to the weapon that holds the rounds. Uh, but it's going to be a while before we know what was used to carry out the attack. So there's a very aggressive investigation to go on now to see whether, as you heard the police say, was this an act of uh, a radical terrorism, Islamic-inspired radicalism, or was it a hate crime, or were there aspects of both? And it's going to be a while before we know the answer to that, but that's a very urgent question. Uh, you heard the authorities say that the next of kin are still being notified. 
Um, but I think they've pretty well finished with that now. Maybe the word hasn't reached the authorities in Florida that that work is pretty well done now. Uh, so they will be uh, releasing the name here shortly, and, and uh, we're told by a number of officials and family members that it is Omar Mir Mateen, 29 years old, originally born in New York, not sure when he and the family moved to Florida, but that's something that the investigators will now be trying to do, is retrace his steps, rebuild a, or build, I should say, a timeline, a chronology of all the events leading up to this, going back, uh, you know, certainly in granular detail, hours and days leading up to this, who was this person talking to? When did this plan come into focus? Why and when did he choose this particular nightclub in Orlando, which is not right outside his home? If he was living in Port St. Lucie, that's um, 100 or so miles away. Uh, uh, why then? Why that place? Those are all always the questions that they'll try to answer. Again, the initial assessment from law enforcement from their first press briefing was that approximately 20 people had been killed, but in the intervening hours, they went into that club and found 50 killed in this nightclub shooting, the Pulse nightclub, very popular place in South Orlando. Police initially said there were probably 300 or more people in the club when the shooting began sometime around 2 o'clock this morning. If you're just joining us, here's basically how it happened. 10, 2 o'clock in the morning, Orlando time. The man we now know to be Omar Mateen, armed with an assault-style rifle, an AR-15, and a handgun, starts shooting at the Pulse nightclub. There was a uniformed Orlando police officer working security who immediately engaged the shooter, but it developed into a hostage situation that lasted more than three hours. Sometime around 5 o'clock Eastern time, 5 in the morning that is, a SWAT team was sent in. The decision was made that they had to go in and take out Omar Mateen. They did just that. Nine Orlando police officers were involved. One of them injured when he was shot in the head, saved, police say, by the Kevlar helmet he was wearing. But again, the number now, 50, 50 dead in Orlando in this now historically awful nightclub shooting. Pete, when we spoke a little bit earlier, you said no criminal record as far as we know for Omar Mateen.